Okay, so you guys have done solid geometry before, okay? But in obviously in um, grade 10 it was a bit easier than it is now. So read the question. Given is the front view an auxiliary view of a uh, large regular hexagonal prism, a cutting plane AA and starting point O. Instructions draw to scale one to one the following views of the solid. Number one, the given front view. Number two, a sectional top view. Number three, a sectional right view. And number four, a view of the true shape of the cut surface in the direction of arrow Z. Okay, arrow Z, if we look, there it is, in that direction. So, that direction. Okay, that's what uh, the true shape. Okay, now, when we look at um, when we look at solid geometry, can you tell me what type of drawing it is? Isometric, orthographic, okay. orthographic. Okay. What does orthographic mean? Um, I'm drawing yeah. different views. What do you want those views? Uh, the front, side, all the boost that they give in the end, the other one. We have two front, side, top. Front, side, top. Yeah. And? Uh, back and forth. Oh, you don't need bottom. Side, what front? Left and right. Left and right. Okay. So, we're doing page 70. Okay. But if you go to page 63, okay, on page 63, you go and check the next page, chapter 7, solid geometry. There is a way to hold each of your set squares to get certain um, degrees, okay? So first we have the 15 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, now obviously those are all given. Um, you hold it up here so you guys can check. Now, over here, okay, over there we hold the two triangles like that, the 30, 60, and the 45, to get 15 degrees. Okay? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, all be copy. Then, given is the 30, given 45, given 60, given 90. Over here we have 105 degrees. This one is 120 degrees. This one's 135. And 50 and 165. Those are the degrees that the triangle can, or the set squares, can go on to. Okay. It's just a nice way of looking at it, making it easier for us. Alright? Now, we have page 70 over there. Now we want to go and get the. What view do you think we're going to be drawing first? Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, the given front view. Yep. Now, uh, with any drawing, we always draw the given stuff first. Why? Because it's easiest, right? So, first of all, we want to go and draw this. Okay, because point O or point O. We need this to be able to draw this. Alright? How do I draw this? Mm -hmm. how, am I, how do I draw this? You guys have drawn it before. You should know. How do I draw a hexagon? Alright. Uh, what size is the circle going to be? Yeah, uh, I can't really that, but I find it in the very blurry. Yeah. 50. Okay. So we're going to be drawing a circle of 30. No, there's a circle of 30. You can't see it on the Yeah. Yeah, just Yeah. 
Okay, there's a circle of 30. Right? What is the next step? Someone who went for answers, what's the next step? Andrew says you have to draw the lines. What lines? One that goes from top to bottom, which is the center of it. And mm -hmm. uh, one, I got a center line that goes from vertically down. So that's where that. 6x gamma lines. Yeah. Basically, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to draw a pencil. I'm going to draw dark. Okay? My construction lines will be dark in pencil. The um, important lines are being painted. Okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, so you can see the circle, right? Cool. Make it a little bit darker. Okay. We have our circle. <clears throat> we have our circle. Okay. Now we want to go and take this our set square, whichever one you're using, 30, 30 60, 45, whatever, and you're going to test over here. Which one fits with each line? Okay? We take 3060, we can see that it fits that okay, bottom is. The last okay. Yeah, I don't worry about the center lines yet. But there we've got that. Okay? But now if you take this, like that, you see it goes straight through the center. So now you've got that point and that point. Right? So you can go do that. Okay, so now you've got that point and that point. Now if you do this. Put that line and that line, yeah? Now you're going to check which... You see that straight line over there, those two. Yeah? And then, again, Now you can see that there are lines in the middle of this drawing, yeah? What are those lines used for? To show what? Mm, not really, no. What are they used to interpret? The fact that this whole thing is a... Oh, no. Okay. It's to interpret that this whole thing now we're drawing now is a pyramid. Okay, all with me. Thicker than the pencil, so it looks it's cute. 
Okay, here we go. We get that now. Right? Now we're going to go and look how we can get these lines to line up with this drawing. So we can go and put it in like that. Yeah? yeah. See? It lines up. Okay. So I'm going to go and draw. Okay, now we've got those three lines up there. You see that? Okay. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to go and check at what degrees this XY line is. So it's going like that. You can see it's like that. Okay. Now you can't obviously just go around and you put in a XY line. You want it to at least be equal, right? Well, I use about five millimeters. Okay, so use about five millimeters. Yeah. Okay, then that's my XY line. Okay. Um, just a question. Yes? Um, when you get off this X um, Y line, do you need to say X, Y, and Y? Yes. Okay. And so your first X, Y line is X, Y. Everything after that would be X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X3, Y3. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, remember you have to label these things properly. Uh, yeah. Now we want to go and draw in this triangle that we have. Yeah? Or the front view pyramid. Alright? So now if we look, that lines up with well that lines up with that and that lines up with that and that obviously lines up with this. Alright? What we want to go and do now first is We have that line in here, right? Why is it? But um, what distance away from the XY line is it? Yeah, five. Five same distance as that. Uh, exactly. Same distance as the previous one. Five millimeters. Yeah. Now we're going to see this one, 75 millimeters high. So we we'll take it from that line we just drew. 75 millimeters. And now we know to draw. Now, who can tell me what one of the most important things is while drawing solid geometry drawing? Labeling, why? Labeling is there to stop you from getting confused. Okay, because you're plotting a lot of lines, plotting a lot of points. Labeling helps it and makes it easier for you to understand where you are at that certain point. Okay. Now, there we have that part of the drawing. What else do we have to go add in? The AA line. Okay. It says here that it from here upwards it's 40 millimeters. So we're going to put that in quickly.
and it comes in through that point. Okay, and then go label it A A. Okay. Now, as you're saying, we need to go and label our drawing. Okay? Labeling is very important. So if you look at this one, this middle point already has a label. Okay? It's O. So then we just go and take this one. We label it O. Okay. Then we want to go and label this one first, right? So we go and label, say, um, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Then we go and label the corresponding points. Alright? What will this point be? Uh, five and six. Five and six. This point? Uh, four. four. One, one and four. And this point? Three. Two and three. Okay, so we have one, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now we have all the labels that we need to understand what we're going to be drawing. So we don't get confused. Okay. Now, what does each orthographic drawing have? When we're drawing front view and side view in the top view. Okay. Uh, we have that thing that we always call the plus. Okay. The quadrant. To show where the top view is, where the right view is, where the left view is, the front view, and so on. Right? Now, we know that this is our? Our front. Our what? So. Front view. Okay. Yeah. Given front view. Alright? One on the left is the top view. Hmm? One on the left is the top view. This. Yeah. No, this is our front view. This is our front view. That is a top view. Alright. Um, you can say it's a top view. Um, this is not the top view. Okay. You could say it's a top it's a top view, but it's not the top view that we're trying to draw. Yeah, this is the yeah. this is the top of this thing. Okay, so that's what this is. What this looks like, looking at it from that direction. Okay. Now the top view would be looking at this thing in that direction. Okay, and then that's the top view of it. Right. Cool. That's the top view we want to be drawing. So first of all. What I like to do is draw the bottom first, all right? So, what we then do, you can tell me. Take the lines down. Okay. Each point, each point we take down. Please, in the starting of your drawing, don't even worry about taking the AA lines down yet. Okay. The section line, because that's just going to confuse you while trying to draw the actual object. Take the AA line down after you've completed the actual drawing of the object, yeah? Okay. Now, what else do we need here? Measure five is down with X1, Y1. X1, Y1. Okay, we need our x, y line. So, 5 millimeters down. That's it. Um, you can still measure 5 millimeters down there because remember it is a hexagonal shape. So, 6 is over there, it's pretty far distance. So, look, you can actually go and Test, the, test your theory. So obviously you know while doing your points, you measure from the x, y yeah. to 6. Okay, x, y to 6, that will be, let's say x, y is over there. So 5 millimeters 
that's what six is going to be. So five millimeters is still going to work, right? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do five millimeters. Now that we have an actual five millimeter line, you can then go test if it will still work out. Test if it will still work out. Yeah, all good. Okay. Remember, you don't want drawings to go over each other. So, again, that's good on your part. Thinking about that. So, why can't we? Huh? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Personally, for me, uh, you see the XY line is then going to go through this drawing. Okay? You do not want an XY line to go through a drawing at all. Okay? So I would like to, I like to look at a, a place in the drawing where the XY won't go over anymore. And for me, it's over here. That's where I go and draw my XY. Okay. You don't need to worry about length and everything about the XY line because you just obviously, like we just said, you go and plot the dots. X1, Y1. Okay. Now we want to go and plot the dots, yeah? So, we go, like here I said, where do you want to start? Do you want to start at 6, 1, 2, where do you want to start? 1. Okay. Start at 1. X, Y line. Then we measure to 1. You see that? Okay, we measure to 1. Follow 1 down from this X, Y. We go. Plot it there. You see? And then you go label it 1. And you know which label is that, uh, which label is what, yeah? Then you go here. Measure to say six. Doesn't matter. Six, right? Follow six down. Go plot it. Go label it. Six. Now, do I have to change the length for two? It's six is parallel to two, so we just keep the same length, right? You have plotted in on that line. One. Two. Okay. Next one, we go and plot for three. Okay. See, I've got three there. So measure from that x1 to three. Follow down, so 3 is there, over there. And the label, 3. Don't have to measure 5 because it's parallel, so just follow 5. And that x, y line. Plot it in. 5. Okay. We'll get to O now. Now we still have one more point. That's four. We measure from X, Y. To four. Okay. There's four. We we'll follow it down. There's four. Okay. Now, O is over there, right? No, is over there. So we measure from x, y to this O. All right. Over there, and from here we follow. We put down O. Okay. Now we can go and connect the plotted dots. Correct? Right? 
Sind denn Möbel, die jetzt in den Lotus hervorraus, wenn man die Mutsus vor uns immer so macht? Und dann zeigt er mal auf die Leibung. Dann machen wir dann den Markt hier in der Revolution. Ja. Okay, so we're working with a what shape? A hexagonal pyramid. Okay, hexagonal pyramid. Okay, can you see we've drawn it in kind of like a 3D fast vibe there? Okay. Now that we've drawn that, we can go and draw in the AA line. Okay, so now the AA line, we can come and we can take it down from that point. Yeah? Or we can take it down from that point. Okay, we have to take it down from that point? No, because it's already taken down on 5 and 6. Right? Okay. Now that we have our AA line going down, we can go and plot in the points of um, section. All right? Where would that be? We just go and follow the lines. Okay? So over here we can see on 1 to 0, it gets cut over there. So we follow that line and look for 1 to 0. There it is. 1 to 0, plotting the dot. Okay? That is also 4. Right? So 4 to 0 gets cut there as well. So go to 4, there's 4, 4 to 0. That's where they meet. Okay? Then we go and look at 2. So 2 and 3 to 0 gets cut on that line. So 2 to 0 gets cut there. And 3 to 0 gets cut there. Okay? Then we look here. 5 and 6. It's cut on 5 and 6. Okay. 5 and 6, straight. So, on 6 and on 5, that's where they do cut. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. So now all we, can, all we have to go do is go and join those plotted points, okay? So over here, and then Then they go straight to Paris. Huh? Oh, yeah. Actually, no, no way. Okay, now we know that this is a part that has been cut, right? Now what can we do to anything that has been cut? Hatching. Hatching, okay. What degrees is hatching? 45. 45. So we can go and put in our... Okay, now that we've done all of that, we can Okay, now that we've done all of that, as you can see, we have the final cut part of this row, alright? After that, we have to go and look 
which lines are we going to see? Okay. To do so, all we're going to do is look at this drawing from the view that is asked of us. What view is this? Uh, top view. Right? This is this thing seen from the top. Okay. Now you can actually, you need to be able to picture this in your, in your mind. Okay. What is it going to look like from the top? It is a hexagonal pyramid. Uh, pyramid. These are the points that are seen, right? So all you have to go and think of is that part that I've covered now, that's cut off. Cut off completely. This is the part we can see now. Okay. So that means any of this on top here, do we see that? None of that. All right. Now we see from this part, we see, you can see, you see, you can see um, 5 and 6, 2, 1 and 4. Okay. That you can see. Am I right? Okay. So you can draw in 5, 2, 5, 2, 4 and 6, 2, 1. So 6, 2, 1. Is there five to a uh, four? Is there? Okay, you with me? And then what do I see? Four and one to O, oh, but only until that point. Okay, so four and one to O. Oh. on that point, and there's the final top view. See that? Okay, that's how we do the solid geometry for the top view. Okay, so now we have that given view. Okay, so we can go and write, go tick off here, the given front view, yes, we have it. Section on top view, Yes, we have it. Okay, next one, we need a sectional right here. Okay, we do it exactly the same as this. Okay, which side are we going to do it? This side or that side? That side. Okay, why? Because that's where we have space. Okay, again, first step. Take over the... The... Uh, the point. Okay. What else do we need on this drawing? The x and x two and y. E x two and y two. Yeah? yeah. So where are we gonna put that? Next to the Yeah. Okay. If we look at it, we can put it at the same on the same line as x1, y1. Am I correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. X1, y1. We'll just take that across over there. We need it at least a little bit of a distance away from that drawing so that we don't interrupt that drawing. So, a little bit of a distance now. We take that up. Okay? You with me? Cool. Okay. Then, that is a XY line, that is a XY line. Okay. Those are XY line on their own. So, in other words, that means, say, this one over here. That is a x y line on its own, correct? Huh? You with me? 
it's too white. Okay. And then that one is an XY line on its own as well. Okay. Now, if we go and look at this story, we can go and label them. Um, X2, R2, X3, R3. Okay. Then, we always have a 45 degree line, yeah? yeah. Over there. Okay, see that 45 degree line? Then we can just take these points there, that one to there, this one, and this one. Okay, do you see how I didn't go through this drawing with that one? Yeah. Even though it can go through, I skipped it. Just keep the drawing neater, you know? I think we get the duck Yes. Okay, then obviously those lines. Are you sure? What are we missing? I didn't take O. I didn't take O across. See that? You need to take it all across. Okay. Now we want to go and do what? Hmm? Here we go. We need to go and label. Alright? Um, what is labeling? What is doing it like this? Stop. That we don't have to go in? Yeah. Then plot it in. We don't have to go and redo it. We don't have to go and plot it. Okay. Otherwise we would have to. But now we don't have to anymore. Okay. Now, we take O first. So O comes across here. It goes up. O is over there. We can go and label that. O. Okay, then we have what? One, yeah? So one is over there, take it across, one is over there, then we want two, if we look at two, two is where, is over there, take that across, boom, there's two, then we want three, three is over there, the cross, here we have three, with me, okay, then we want four, so four is obviously down there, take it across, the match up there, four, with me, yeah. then we want five and six, okay, so five and six, again, here's five, take it out, matches there, Here's six, take it across, take it out, matches the six. Okay. All with me? Yeah. Cool. Now we can go out. Join the points.
Okay. Now, if you cannot see already, I will not. Don't worry. If you cannot see already, I'm going to ask you again. What is the problem with this drawing? You see it. Point four or point one on the same side. What does that mean? I mean, one of my measurements were inaccurate. Okay. Even if it's a little millimeter, two little millimeters, that makes the entire drawing wrong. Okay. So you have to work very, very accurately. Now go on with this drawing. Okay. So here we go. There to there. Because the concept of the drawing is the same. All right. Yeah. Well, obviously, you you still want to you want to do the drawing correctly from the beginning. You don't want to have to go and jippo the drawing because obviously. Doing it correctly the first time around saves you time. Okay. Now, if you look at this drawing, four is longer than one, right? So my number one, the line is on the inside. Number four, the line is on the outside. You see how accuracy can change what the whole drawing looks like. Okay. So instead of doing in erasing the entire drawing. I'm going to go and fix it quickly so that I can teach you how to do this view. Hmm? Yeah. Big eight want to take a little thing. Okay, that's what it should look like. Now, what else do we need? We need the AA line. AA line, okay? What we do is, we just take it across from here, there, that point, and that point, okay? Then we go and look where we can plot those points, okay? Again, one to O and four to O was cut off there. So follow those lines. Where's one to O? There. Four to O is there. Okay. Then two and three to O. Okay. Two and three to O. There and there, and then five and six on the dot, so five over there, six over there. Okay? Then you can go and do what? Uh, Connect it. Pencil and not in pen, the pen is always thinner and more accurate. Yeah, you create a, a, a fine liner. Um, 
fine line of pens are nice, you get the quick drying ones. Yeah. Yeah. I've got one here in my desk somewhere, but I can't find it. I used to do my drawings in college with a fine liner. You can't Okay. Okay, so you can tell me why I am filling in these lines. There we go, because I can see them. Okay, remember you have to work accurately 100% of the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, this is my right view, right? Okay, right view. So this means I'm seeing this drawing from? Hmm? This side or this side? Which side? This side or this side? Okay, so I'm looking at this drawing from that side, and that still means that. that top part is cut off and I'm looking at it from that perspective alright, you with me? ok so please work accurately guys I don't, you can see this thing looks wonky and lopsided and so that just tells you, you need to work as accurately as possible because of Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go, there's that drawing, there's that drawing, now we know we've got two of the three things, or three of the three things, the four things that they've asked. Okay, so, again, look here, number three, a section or right view, ticket, we just did. Okay, now they want a view of the true shape of the cut surface in the direction of Z. Okay, how are we going to do that? There is that, Z is there, we want it in that direction. Okay, so what do they say? They want that in a parallel, they want um, the true shape parallel to AA. Okay, so the true shape is then wanted parallel to the AA line. Okay, how do we do this? Very easy. Two set squares for that. Okay, so you go and set it up over there on the same line as AA. Take the other one, put it there against it. You see how I've done it? Yeah. Push up, up, up until you're away from the drawing. Okay, and then. Draw in a line. You see that? Okay, now that line is parallel to that one. Okay, what do we call this? X4, Y4. X4, Y4. Okay, now we want, what do we want now? Parallel lines going from each point of the AA only. VAA. So it gets cut there, gets cut there, gets cut there. Only those lines that we want to see. Right? So it's parallel. Let's use this one. It's parallel to that. Okay. Now we move it 
backwards mm. to be able to get to those lines. Okay, and then you can just put this on there and line it up with each line. To draw lines. Okay. To draw lines parallel to the AA. Okay, so now you see I've got those three lines there. Okay? All you need to do now, easy. Compass. Over here, you go in. Okay, so that one we know it is. O to 1. O to 1 is this one, so we follow that one. Plot it in there. This so one. There. 4 to 0, also, same one. 4 to 0. Okay? And again, over here, we have that line. So we use those two. Here we have that, so we know it's over there. Put that in. Next one. You know it's on this line as well. Put that in. And then we want the last two, which is on five and six, correct? There, follow that line. That's there. And that's there. Okay. All you have to do then after plotting. So join the points. Okay, now that we've joined the points, what do we always have to do? The true shape, hatching. Okay, I'll do the hatching big for you. Okay, then we've got our hatching. So we can go and take off over there, true shape, and that means the drawing's done. Okay, do you understand how to do um, solid geometry? Any questions? One second. See when I get something good.